Hey, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. In this video, I'm going to show you a simple technique to carve out the text from any shape or images. At the end, I'm also going to show you how to make them look like a 3D objects. I want to make this as a greeting card for the Thanksgiving that's coming up in a week. All right, let's get started. To start with, I'm going to type the first letter of the word happy. Make the font size big enough and draw a rectangle next to it, making sure they are attached. Next, I'm going to type the rest of the letters of the words. These are the letters that would be carved out of these rectangle shapes. Make sure the font size of these letters are little smaller than the first letter so that it fits inside the rectangle. Let me replicate the rectangles for the next two words, which is thanks and giving. Like H, I am going to type T and the letter G with the same font and the same size. Now, to carve out these text from the rectangle, select the rectangle first, then the letters. Now, go up to the Format tab, select Merge command, and then select Subtract. This tells PowerPoint to carve out the text from the rectangle shape and making the text area transparent. All right, where is Thanksgiving without a turkey, right? I'm going to add some turkey images. To do that, from the insert menu, select picture command and select online pictures. Here, search for turkey images. Make sure the checkbox that says creative commons only is selected in the search result to avoid any copyright images. All right, I found these images, number one, number two, and number three. I'm going to place these turkeys at the end of the rectangle. It looks like these images have a white background. When you have a single colored background, it's easy to remove them. All you have to do is select the image, go up to the format tab, select color command and then select set transparent color. PowerPoint changes the cursor to a little pen. Click on the background white to make them transparent. What a cool feature, right? Now repeat the process for the next two images. For more complex backgrounds, there are different techniques to remove it. I have a separate video on the same that I will leave the link in the description for you to watch. Now I'm going to set different color for each of these turkeys from the color command. Once done, I'm going to match the rectangle and the first letter same as the color of the turkey. PowerPoint provides a feature to match it easily. Select the rectangle from the shape fill command, select eyedropper. The cursor now changes like a filler that allows you to pick a color from the screen. Hover it over the turkey and click on it. Now this color gets added to the custom color palette to be used for the session. Repeat this process for the next two words. I'm going to group each line of objects to make it easier to move it around. I said we are going to make them look like a 3D object, right? To do that, I'm going to add a little shadow effect. I'm going to draw an owl and color them gray and place them right underneath the words. This quickly tells our brain to look them like a 3D objects with a shadow. Instead of having all the objects in a line, let me arrange them a little different to bring out that 3D effect.
let me add a background by drawing a rectangle and painting them a grayish color if you cannot see that 3d effect let's search for a realistic image i found this table let me arrange the text to look as if they are placed straight up on the table so that you can see that 3d effect and appreciate it isn't this cool I have a few other examples to show this carve out effect. You can carve out the text from an image like this one or from any shape like this circle. All right, now it's time to make some greetings for your friends and family. Happy Thanksgiving. For more such useful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design. See you in another video. Bye now.